iMovie is a well-known iOS and macOS software in which you can edit your videos. It's reliable and easy to use, especially for non-techy editors. But how much does it actually hold against another reliable and easy to use editor called Veed? In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at some of the capabilities and features of both editors and see why Veed can be a great alternative to iMovie. First thing we'll cover is opening the video editor. As I briefly mentioned, iMovie is an iOS and macOS exclusive video editor, which you can download and run locally on your Apple device. If you have a device that runs Windows or another operating system, you cannot download or use iMovie. Veed, on the other hand, requires no download and can be used on any Apple, Windows or Linux device. You can instantly start editing with Veed on any browser, including Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox and many more. You can try Veed's editor for free by clicking on the first link in the description. Next, we're gonna take a look at importing and recording. For both editors, it's pretty convenient to import your videos into your project. In terms of recording, iMovie allows users to record and import webcam videos, including the option to create voiceovers. Now, besides being able to do voiceovers with Veed as well, this editor has a fully dedicated built-in recorder in which you can create customizable audio, webcam, screen, and slide recordings. This could be beneficial for branding purposes, but also for a strong and efficient workflow in between content creation and editing. Because after recording, you can directly add them to your project so you can instantly continue editing. Plus, unlike iMovie, Veed allows you to create text-to-speech audio for your videos in different languages, accents, and voices. Add me to your videos. Next, themes and templates. When editing in iMovie, you can choose and apply one of the themes. As a user, this will give you the opportunity to give a certain style to the beginning, middle, and end of your video sequence. The few selected ones they have look pretty decent and can work well in certain scenarios. Unfortunately, there are no real editing options for these themes besides being able to change the text of the title. Veed's editor, on the other hand, offers hundreds of video templates which you can fully customize in the editor. You can think of templates for audiograms, podcast snippets, marketing and social media branding, e-learning, beauty videos, holiday themes, seasonal events, you get the idea. In fact, with an upgraded account, you can save yourself a lot of time and save your own custom templates. This way, you can easily load up your template creations across all of your video projects. Next, we're gonna cover cropping and aspect ratio. In iMovie, you can crop your video in the video canvas. Now, the video stays in a landscape or 16 by nine aspect ratio format, but that's about it, since there's no real option to change the aspect ratio within the editor. At most, you can flip an original nine by 16 video in the 16 by nine canvas to make it a vertical video while exporting. However, this isn't very user-friendly nor convenient for the user. Now, back to Veed, Veed's cropping and aspect ratio capabilities are more advanced and suitable for useful scenarios. The editor provides a list of different aspect ratios you can instantly apply to your video. In the video canvas, you can further resize, reposition, and even rotate your video to the side and corner options. All right, next thing we'll cover is creating and adding automatic subtitles. Unfortunately, in iMovie, there is no official way to add subtitles to your video, let alone automatically. However, you can technically make the title text serve as captions, but you notice it's not made to create subtitles with them. Because it's not made for subtitles, it's very clunky and time consuming. I also checked if you could import SRT files or subtitle files into your iMovie project, but this isn't possible either. Now, with Veed's editor, you can not only create subtitles, you can also create them automatically. You can automatically transcribe your audio in video files with its auto subtitle tool. In a click of a button, you have accurately transcribed and synced subtitles, which are also fully customizable. You can even change the style of your subtitles and add effects and subtitle animations if you would like to burn them into your video. Now, Veed also allows users to download the subtitles as a text, SRT or VTT file, so you can, for instance, separately upload them to your videos on YouTube or other platforms as closed captions. Next, we're gonna cover stock audio and stock video. In terms of stock content, iMovie doesn't have a video stock library, but offers a selected library with music and audio effects, which are categorized in different folders and genres. The quality is decent and some of the audio fragments could really contribute to your video, but similar to the themes, the audio library is somewhat limited to its amount. Now, in Veed's editor, there's not only a copyright-free audio library with an endless amount of music pieces and sound effects, there's also a video stock library with 
thousands of non-copyrighted videos for you to use. There's even a very helpful search bar in the libraries which you can use to find specific audio or video footage for your video project. All right, next part, adding text. In iMovie, you can choose to add different types of preset title texts, all with a non-customizable yet pretty cool animation that's integrated into the preset. In the menu, you can change the font, size, color, and alignment, but there's not a lot of creative freedom possible since there's no option to reposition the text in the canvas. You cannot change the preset animation and you cannot resize or rotate your text in the video canvas. Now in Veeds Editor, you can add fully customizable text layers to your videos. You can choose one of the presets or default styles and change the font, sizing, colors, add text shadows and other effects and choose your own text animation. And in the video canvas, you can reposition, resize and rotate your text the way you prefer it. Next, let's cover elements and stickers. In terms of elements and stickers in iMovie's content library, the editor only provides a few background options to add to your video, and that's pretty much it. Well, another thing you can do is add emojis to your videos by using the emoji keyboard on your Apple device and pasting them in the title text, but it doesn't get more advanced than that. Now in Veeds Editor, there's a fully dedicated tab menu with all elements you can use. It offers shapes, emojis, progression bars, audio visualizers, a wide variety of different animated and non-animated stickers, GIFs, markups, icons, and much more. You can even customize the elements by changing colors and adding animations to them. Now, before we head over to the final point, there are some interesting tools that I would like to highlight for both editors. Now, there's a green screen background removal option in iMovie, which is pretty neat on its own. Veed goes the extra mile by additionally allowing you to remove the background in your video in one click, even if you didn't use a blue or green screen. Also, both editors have a noise reduction option to easily remove any white noise or humming from the background. However, unlike iMovie, only Veed has the automatic silence removal button. This allows users to automatically trim quiet parts in their audio or video in just a single click. A very time-saving solution. All right, last thing we're gonna cover is exporting and sharing. When you're ready to export your video in iMovie, you can choose to download your video with adjustable render settings, including a preset render option for YouTube and Facebook. You can also choose to render and compress your video to a degree you can instantly send it to an email, which is great, but understandably, this will decrease the quality of the video tremendously. Now, when exporting a video with Veed, you can manually predetermine your render settings but you can also choose one of the many preset render settings suitable for different purposes. When exporting and rendering your video, you'll have many options to share or download your video. When you create an account, you can host your videos on Veed and instantly share your videos through email and social media, and even embed your videos onto your website if you happen to have one. Plus, Veed allows users and viewers to place timestamped comments on your video, and you can even create custom call to action buttons if you would like to promote your courses, podcast, social media account, you name it. And just so you know, through the download button, you can download your project as a video file, audio file, or a GIF. And as icing on the cake, unlike iMovie, you can even share your projects with other friends or colleagues with the shareable workspace capabilities. So you can all access and work on projects simultaneously. Again, if you want to try Veed for free, you can click on the first link in the description, you don't need to download anything. You can instantly go to the website and start editing. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope this video gave you some insights on differences between capabilities and features between iMovie and Veed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.